And hello everybody and welcome back to the stream. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday or whatever day it is for you right now, and here we are. So, uh two weeks ago, we finally decided that we were finished with Hollow Knight. But impossible I'll go back to that game. But uh, you know, like all that's left in it though is just really obscure endings that require insane high skill levels so i don't know maybe, maybe someday but at the moment we uh we basically finished with one of the endings that we liked on hollow knight and now it's two weeks later we took a week off from like a, a like a, a story game that we haven't done before but we're back this week so this game series kindergarten i've seen this i've watched these games be played like all the way through and re and i was informed that the third game you know, is in development, right? So I just, I just made, I made the snap decision that on stream we're gonna play the first and the second, and uh, so that we're prepared for when the third one comes out. We can uh, maybe uh, get on that, uh, get on that hype train. Know what I'm saying? Nice and appropriately timed. Not that I'm, <laughs> I'm not really good at timing these things. Also, the laptop can't really handle most games that are hype based. But you know, you know, you know. It's funny, and it's funny, I've seen this game played all the way through maybe as many as four times or five times. Tara knows probably better than I do, like four or five times or some shit. And there's no way I'm going to fucking remember any of the solutions. <laughs> so, like, this game series is like a, uh, it's like this sequential puzzle game where you're playing as this tiny child with, like, Groundhog Day powers... What happens is that we go through the school day doing things, and then we reset and just do the whole day over again, except we have items and clues and stuff over what to do next every time we reset the day. And the, the game does not acknowledge the fact that we are living in a Groundhog Day scenario, so it's just, um, it's just funny, you know. And yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quirky, and it's funny. I've enjoyed watching it. I'm not going to remember any of the solutions, though, because I'm a fool, but uh, hopefully this is a bit of a new experience for a lot of you watching, and that you'll have a nice time with this crazy-ass game. So uh, let's try and get into it real, real momentarily here. All right. Pretty sure the first one is pretty short. Try Cindy's first. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think I vaguely remember you have to do her mission, like, very early on. Is... It capturing it is woo. So this is kindergarten. Hold on. Okay. I already set the uh, video settings the way I wanted them to be. I may or may not. May or may not increase some of those, but for now, no. All right. I am going to try so hard. I am going to try so hard not to be cringe and just repeat voices for characters that I've already heard. <laughs> but inevitably I'm going to fail and I'm just going to sound like a re like a like a fucking tard. Uh But all right. It looks like you haven't played before. Would you like to go through the tutorial? I might as well. Might as well. Just so everyone else everyone's on the same page. Five separate time intervals. Schoolyard, morning time, lunch, recess, show and tell. And yeah, we have like a, a resource. We have like, yeah, like time is like a resource in this game. Most characters want something done during the day. Try and pick one character to help each day. Looking character's task all the way will unlock the character's special item. Special items can be reused infinitely because it's a Groundhog Day and we are temporally taking these items and using them. In like uh you know in the past in a new cycle every day is exactly the same as the one before it all it's always monday only special items are saved from day to day characters will respond differently to you depending upon what items you have and what decisions you have made throughout the day yes money you're carrying yes how many actions you can take in a room yep i am as a resource this is some example dialogue for tutorial. Once requires an item in order to be selected, requires money to be selected. This response will use an apple if selected, aka it'll use of our time. Also responses to what the character is saying. Yep. 
We're not doing controller. Fuck that. Interact and select is just left click or space. Eat apple is just backspace. Okay. All oh, right. I think if we eat apples, I think um we just get a little bit of money. So like you can trade in your time, your time resource for for cash if you have nothing else to do. And then opening the planner is E. Okay. If you're out of apples, the bell will ring and you move to another area. If you're outside the area, you start and the bell will ring when you have one apple left. Uh, get. Yeah. Nug, nug, yeah, we are we are joining going to join the Nug Club. You'll you'll all understand what I mean. You can't find a way to use all your apples. Use return to consume the rest of them. We can see the next area. Yep. The hints page. Some hints are unlocked already. Okay, cool. Planner. Then the hints. Okay, cool. Okay, so. J Jerome, Cindy, or the teacher's missions don't need any items. We do one of those three. Get rid of bugs in the schoolyard. Start the day with extra money. Buy three items from Monty before morning time. And we're not gonna. We're only gonna look at the teacher and the, these these three characters. Are the only ones we're gonna look at for now. Of the day by getting robbed by bugs and tattling on them. Okay. So we need to get rid of bugs, and we can do that for Cindy or the teacher by by telling on him. And uh, that's why we have to start with money. We have to start with the money so that uh, he has money to rob from us. Also, we would need to start with more money to buy items from Monty for Jerome's quest, but we're, we're just going to go with Cindy. It's just easy to conceptualize, I think. Who's this? Ah, should I bring extra money? Cool. Wow! Jesus! Ten dollars. That's crazy. Yeah, these are the special items or whatever. And you know, you, you want to know something funny? Like for those of you who care about the trading card games, you know, in the real life, there's uh, some parody trading cards we can also find. What the fuck is this portrait of? I only just now realized this is a fucking Minecraft bed. That's hilarious. All right, let's go. Hmm, I smell money. <laughs> Yeah, someone is definitely carrying a bunch of money around here. Hey, kid, you carrying any cash? Yeah. Excellent. Give me half or I'll split your empty skull with my foot. Fine. Good boy. Now, don't go telling the teacher about this or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. Right. Okay. What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishy me won't make your dad come back. My dad will come back? He just went to the store to get some cigarettes is all. Get out of here. Or I'll beat you so hard it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you. Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Let me, let, let me show you all who are not familiar with this game how funny this is. And how fucking absurd this game is. Dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, Dad! <laughs> uh, sure, let's go. Uh, sure, let's call the teacher. Just look at you, just paying attention. That's okay, I love killing rats. Die like a rat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, let's try that again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this game is, a uh, freakish. So, we need to get bug- we need to get rid of bugs from the yard, I think it was what the hint said. Yeah, so we just need to tattle on him now, then, I suppose. Uh, do I have to talk to her first, though? Let's see. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Wanna be my boyfriend? I'm so through with bugs. What happened with bugs? We broke up. He was so jealous. He'll probably be mad if he sees me with anyone else. It'd be smart to get rid of him before we start dating. 
Not interested? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Hello, teacher. Hi, Miss Applegate. I have been well endowed <clears throat> with excellent teaching qualities. <laughs> Bug stole my money. He did? Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? What if he hurts me? It'll build character. Is this legal? Probably not. But if this is how I can start my underground kid fighting ring, then it's a risk I'm willing to take. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, how I'd love a good kitty fight. Just go over there and push him a little bit. When he attacks back, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. Okay. Oh my god, this is so the movement is so sensitive on the keyboard. Dying wouldn't be so bad. Call for teacher. Bugs! How dare you attack another student unprovoked again! That's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please don't! He started it! He's a liar! He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right, and after this little incident, neither are you. <laughs> now go to the principal's office. Or I'll have the gender carry you there. But, but... Go! Stupid rat. Should have been, we could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Oh, happy day! I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star as promised. Thanks. Hmm, now you've got me thinking, though. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a trip for him to visit Daddy? No. <laughs> oh, that's unexpected, but I can respect that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Will do. Okay, we got rid of bugs, so we can talk to Cindy now. God, we have this we have blood spewing from our eyeball. Yeah, I'll be your boyfriend. Ha! Huh, that's what I like to hear, and we totally we would will totally be the cutest couple in school, but first you have to do something for me. Isn't our love enough? <laughs> that's cute, but no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. How do I do that? You see that girl over there? That's Lily. She is by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gum and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? Yeah. Oh, yay. This is going to be so great. She'll finally get what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. Come find me for the morning time after you're done. What happened to her brother? You haven't heard? He went missing. His disappearance totally stole the thunder from my dog, Biscuit, going missing. I guess everyone just cares more about him than they do about me. Dog went missing too? Yeah. I brought her for show and tell, but the janitor said dogs aren't allowed, so he took her. Apparently she escaped from his closet and they couldn't find her. Maybe I could find your dog instead? Hmm, interesting proposal. I do miss Biscuit. The question is, do I love Biscuit more than I hate Lily? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you and I, we know what happened to Biscuit. You know, risk it for the Biscuit. Um, I'll just go with the, the thing that I think probably will advance the story. You hate Lily more. Yeah, Lily is actually a despicable person and her existence bothers me. Don't worry about Biscuit. Just put that gum in her hair during morning time and come talk, come talk to me afterward. Got it. So, we have an apple left. We can just eat it, I think. And then just go to morning time. Let's talk to everybody first, though. Inter introduce each other. Oh, I'm Monty. <laughs> you need something? Come talk to me. Odds are I can get it for you for the white price. What I need and what I sell changes throughout the day, so come see me often. I don't want anything. Yeah, so Monty... Having an apple left seems wrong. Um, well, she said morning, she said morning time. I don't think I do it now. You know what? I think maybe now is the time, yeah. Oh, um, hey, I'm Lily. You've probably heard about what happened to my brother Billy. I haven't. You haven't? It's been all over the news. He went missing a few days ago. Sorry to hear that. Thanks, that makes you one of the few people who even seems to care. It's hard to trust anyone here. Sydney has been trying to put gum in my hair. Oh, okay. 
She said morning time, and I was like, does that mean we're out, out here in the schoolyard, or does it mean, like, the first class? Yeah, I know. Oh! Oh, no, I fucked it up. Oops. <laughs> Oops! Let's try that again. I... So, no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, all right. Right. Try that again. That again. Are you going to do a racist voice for Jerome? <laughs> Here's the problem. Whenever I intentionally try to do something, like doing a voice, it always breaks down. Like, it just always does. I can only ever, like, just coincidentally do a voice. I can never intentionally do one and then it works. It always has to be unintentional and then it works. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Okay. Okay, so now, out here in the schoolyard is not morning time, I don't think. Janitor is funny. How you doing there, Sonny? Don't mind old Janitor here. Just sweeping up at you, silly cretins. Sweepy, sweepy, sweep. That's a mop. Ah, so it is. You're also mopping the sidewalk. I'll be mopping your blood off it if you don't skedaddle. Skedaddle. As you can see from the ending where Bugs murders us, uh, yes, we... Uh, getting absolutely throttled is, um... Very much a thing that will happen in this game. And there are much more brutal deaths in this game than, uh... Getting beaten up. I'm sure I don't think you're cool enough to talk to me. Whatever, jerk. <laughs> Uh, let's talk to the best boy now. Hi, my friends call me Nugget. Or they would if I had any. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. I mean, this apple... Like, I don't know what else to do with this apple, so I might as well, like, talk to Nugget, I guess. What happened to Billy? Billy is missing. Poor Nugget misses Billy. But Nugget cannot help him now. It is too late. You know where he is? Nugget does not know. Nugget knows who knows. Who knows? Your question's upset, poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pill. <clears throat> Much better. What were we talking about? Billy. Who? I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> we were just talking about him. We were not. The principal has forbidden me from speaking about it. And if you press me any further, I'll report you to him. Fine. No more talking now. Shoo. Okay. Show the hint for Cindy's mission. This is the only hint for Cindy's mission. You know, yeah, yeah, I notice he does stop. Yeah, I do notice that. Drugs. Go inside. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for the morning time. Or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone as long as you're the best you can be. Find a partner. Okay, first of all, okay, now it's morning time. Let's go do the gum. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. Put the gum in Lily's hair. Did you just... You did! You put gum in my hair! That's so mean! Cindy put you up to this, didn't she? Well, I don't even care. Leave me alone. Alright. Hey, bitch. 
Did you do it? Oh my gosh, you totally did. Wow, what happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. She cried. Yes, I'm so happy. Now you can be my morning buddy, which also makes you my boyfriend. As my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. Such an honor. Um, but before we do that, you need to get cleaned up. No way any boyfriend of mine is going to bleed all over me. Go to the bathroom and wash up. I'll be over by the dollhouse. Okay. I don't I think I need a pass to go to leave. Um I think. Go ask for a pass, maybe. Go find a morning buddy, or you'll be an outcast loser like Nugget. <laughs> maybe I don't need a pass. Let's go. Oh no, no, no. You can't just leave class without a pass. Okay, can I use the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? May I use the bathroom? Should have bought the yo-yo? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I mean... I remember, but I don't remember. Oh, wait, I forgot to get money. <laughs> this game is a lot of trial and error when you don't remember fuck all. Okay. Not that. Try it again. Buy it now and give you, and it gives you one more apple for the puzzle. If you bought it during morning time, it's too many apples. Buy it now and it gives you one more apple for the puzzle. Okay. Buy something. Here's what's for sale. Yo yo. Heh! <laughs> yo yos. I don't know what it is about these things, but Jerome loves them. You can have it for one dollar. What do you say? Deal. Thought you're doing business with me. I don't need anything else. Okay, let's start the fight now. Whoops. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. How about you robbed me? Now that's every apple, it doesn't feel wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Lily. I am covered in so much blood. I magically talk to him now. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty is going to hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. You mean this yo-yo? Ah, oh, come on! He told me he was going to save it for me! Is this correct? Okay, I guess this must be correct, yeah. You can have it if you'll be my buddy. You got a deal, and since we're gonna be friends, think you should do something to help me out. You know, as a friend, like what? You know, that creepy old janitor, he stole my laser pointer this morning, said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need you to help get it back. What do I do? When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. You can use it to get by the hall monitor. Once you're past him, head to the janitor's closet. My laser should be in there somewhere. Why don't you go? No way, I already got busted with a stolen pass before. The hall monitor will catch me no matter what. Fine, give me the pass. Awesome! You be in a box somewhere. Just grab it and go. Don't linger there too long. He checks back frequently. Okay. 
Just let me know when you're ready and I'll give you the pass. I won't be able to distract the teacher for long, so head straight to the door. Don't talk to anyone on your way out. I'm ready. Go distract her. All right. What does City need? City needs me to clean my face. Not so fast there, little dude. I'm going to have to see your hall pass before I can let you by. Here's my pass. A principal pass? Whoa, yeah. Go do whatever, man. I'm going to wash my face. Wash the blood. That's the bell. What are you still doing here? Get back to class. Okay. Well, did you get it? What? Okay, kids, we all heard the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. We'll talk at lunch. Go to lunch. Okay, I can't... Okay, uh, so no, I can't... No. <laughs> we did... No, nah, 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 that's not what we were supposed to do. What the fuck? <laughs> well, did you get it? I couldn't get it. Oh, man, that's a shame. Looks like I'm just gonna have to deal with whatever punishment I get from this. You can keep the pass. I'll see you around. Cool, thanks. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know what to do now. <laughs> we, uh, have... Okay. I think what we just have to do is just get like, the bathroom pass from the teacher. Like, if we continued that conversation earlier, wouldn't we have just gotten a bathroom pass? And then we could have just gone to the bathroom? And used less apples? I think. You need to have cigarettes by the time you get to the laser pointer... By the time you go to get the laser point from the bathroom. Right. Why do I need cigarettes? I don't know. Right. So, yeah, I think we just need to... If we want to do Cindy's mission... I think... I, I don't think we need to do anything with Jerome, necessarily. Let's try that again. Try all that again. I guess leather apples because if you need money? I mean, oh so, yeah. Yeah, this is how the game works. You basically have to do... It's basically just a series of puzzle rooms. Where you're just trying to do things for characters until you have a bunch of items that you've temporally stolen so you can finish the game and do the, and do the final story. Okay. Okay, and then like... Uh, we just, uh, yeah. You just eat the apple. Okay. Yeah, I think we might get a bathroom pass from the teacher by just doing this. Can I use the bathroom? I don't know, can you? Of course, now that you've asked correctly, here's the bathroom pass. Gee, thanks. Just be back soon. Sure. Yep. Here's my pass. Okay, I'll let you pass, but I can't let you get any further than the bathroom. That's fair. Sink, wash off the blood. All right. Oh, you're back. I'll take that bathroom pass back now. Go back to your morning time. Okay. And then we have 
And then uh, we can just play house with Cindy. All right. Welcome home, husband. I hope work wasn't too hard because you're going to be making dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Almond milk is still bad Even though they're coming out with new types It tastes shit I don't know why but my, mo my mother likes uh, almond milk I don't know what she sees in it A long time ago when I was like 15 I was on like a special diet where I had rice milk And it was like It was barely okay <laughs> It was barely okay I can't even really imagine almond milk Yes, dear. And after that, I need you to... Have you been drinking again? No, honey, I'm just tired. Oh, sure you are. You're always so tired. I'm sure you won't mind blowing... Blowing into this, then. Dude, rice milk is a scam. It's literally just the starch that watches off the rice. That's gross. <laughs> wow. That's kind of gross. I haven't had it in more than a decade, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Is that a breathalyzer? You bet it is! And if you blow so much as 0.01, I'm calling your sponsor. I'll take the test. Good. Blow. 0.32! You're trashed right now! How could you do this to me? You said you would get sober. How can you be a father when you can't even take care of yourself? Dead ass is literally that. I put rice starch in my hair for growth once a week. I'm not drinking that shit! <laughs> I also had rice cream uh, during that same period. And, and that and rice cream... I actually am going to go out on a limb and say I liked the rice cream. With a carob as a replacement for chocolate. I actually thought it was pretty okay. It was very expensive, though. Absurdly expensive. Be a father? Hi. Well, while you were in prison, it probably not yours. I'm sorry. I guess I have my own set of problems to deal with. I want a divorce. Hi. You're right. This isn't working out. What do we do now? Go spend the night with your mother. Okay. I guess that's fair. I'll call you tomorrow. I hope we can sort this out amicably. Me too. Wow, that was the most fun I've had playing house in a while. You're going to make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. Okay. Great, I'll see you then. Sure. Rice cream is different. You can mash rice into a paste for dessert. Oh, yeah. Well, then I guess that's what uh, the rice cream kind of was. Okay, kids. That's the lunch bell. Let's go to the, the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. All right. I think we still have a black eye, even though we washed the blood. The garbage can. I'm not going to dig through it to find anything. Okay. I'm exploring at this point right here. You know, Cindy probably learned that drunk prison drama scene from her own parents. Or she learned it from, like, a shitty reality TV. There's also that. Yeah, I don't know if I want biscuits. All right, and Bugs isn't here because he's fucking dead. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. Okay. How you doing there, Sonny? Want some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? What's in it? It's an old family recipe. Lots of herbs and spices and salt and about 89% of the principal's secret ingredient. 89% is a lot. Oh, it's not that much. Supposedly keeps the slop in regulation with the government's new health standards. What's the secret ingredient? I can't tell you that. It's a secret. Also, I have no idea what it is either. You're feeding us a seasoned mystery ingredient. But the seasoning is so good, it's the best pot. Got anything else? Well, the menu's kind of restricted now. What with the new health regulations? I have a chocolate bar, but that's pretty darn expensive. Yeah, I don't have $10. Why is it so expensive? It's all part of the government. We're wanting you kids to be less fat, you poor things, or wasting away before my very eyes. <laughs> Fine, then. Give Cindy a biscuit ball for lunch if you don't want to buy a salad from Monty. Uh, 
Um, right. I mean, I don't know if I need to buy the salad necessarily. Like, she's asking me to get food for myself. So I think I'll... I'll just get the slot for myself. Here you go, buddy boy. Enjoy it. Don't be shy about coming back for seconds. Plenty of slot to go around. Thanks. I have slop. Eat the slop. Oh good, I was just thinking about- Oh darn it, my stupid mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. God, that woman is insufferable. Oh. Hey sweetie, would you be darling go get me something vegan? Something vegan? Yeah, you know, um, like, I don't know exactly what it means, but I know it's good, so just ask around and see if you can find something vegan. Oh, and the slop isn't vegan. I'll try. Yeah, let's get the biscuit ball. <laughs> biscuit balls, get your biscuit balls here. Get them all the hot. Biscuit balls? My own recipe. Came up with it after a little incident that happened recently. What's in them? Whatever's in a biscuit and a little something extra. extra. The extra part that worries me. Oh, come on, try it. It won't kill you. How much are they? They're a buck a piece. Quite a deal if I do say so myself, and I'm sure your little friend Cindy would <laughs> love to try one. Okay, I'll take one. There you go, buddy boy. Now give th that <laughs> give that to that Sydney girl. Uh, okay. I, I mean, I remember I remember the thing about the vegan thing. It's just I'm trying to sequence the uh, the apples correctly, and it, it seemed at that moment I'm just like, yeah, I'll just get slapped for myself. What did you get me? This thing. That's vegan. Are you sure? Yep. Um. Okay, I trust you. No, 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 no. Hey, that's pretty good. It kind of reminds me of my dog in a weird way. I can't place it. Thank you so much for getting this for me. <laughs> no problem. You're being so good to me today. You're probably the most well-trained boy I've ever met. I should use you for something at recess. Hmm, I have an idea. What? I'm really liking the way Lily wears that gum. But maybe we could put something else in there. What do you mean? Jerome was telling me how the janitor has all sorts of gross stuff in his closet. I'm thinking we find something to give to Lily. Doesn't he keep it locked? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Look what I have. You have the key? Yep, a girl has her ways. I'm gonna head over and pay off the lunch lady so you can get going on down to that nasty closet. What about the hall monitor? Oh, that silly boy. He'll be in the bathroom having a cigarette. Just don't go in there and you'll be fine. Okay. Lunch is almost over, so listen for the bell while you're in there. The janitor will come back shortly after it rings, so get out as soon as possible. Let's do this. You're good to go. Hurry back. Hold on a moment. How do I get this again? I need, like, a screwdriver. Okay. Uh, I've immediately forgotten what I'm looking for. What am I looking for again? Uh-oh. I don't actually know what I'm looking for now. <laughs> I immediately forgot. This? Oh, no. Oh, right, the blood. Yes, the blood, yes. The bucket that's catching the blood from that thing on the table would be a truly vile thing to dump on someone's head. Take the bucket. All right, no, we're going here. Yes. Oh, did the slap give you the run? Sorry about that. Hope it worked itself out. All the other kids are at recess now. Go run along. Okay. Well, what did you get? Bucket filled with blood. Oh. My. God. It's perfect. That is so disgusting. Whose blood is it? Never mind, I don't want to know. Me neither. You're the best. Climb up there and call her over. I'm gonna get in position, alright? Hey, Lily, come over here. I want to show you something. Why can't you just leave me alone, Cindy? I'm so sick of you harassing me. I'm not going to harass you. We can be friends. Just come over here. 
Fine. What is it? Ah! What did you just... Oh! You and your awful boyfriend set me up again. I'm so done with this. You've made me miserable for so long. Aw, oh, come on. I think it's an improvement. You're just so mean. I can't take it anymore. No! Goodbye, cruel world. No! Wow! That hole is so deep. Do you think she died? Never mind. I don't care. You should come down from there. Bullied into Anne Hero. Yep. That was great. You've made me so happy today. I want you to take this flower. It's pretty, like me. This way you'll always have a little piece of me with you. Take Cindy's flower. Now you'll have the best thing ever for show and tell. Gosh, I am so great. There are. Oh dear, has anyone seen Lily? I don't see her anywhere. Nugget saw where the girl went. Nugget knows. Shut up, Nugget. You didn't see anything. Nugget, I swear to whatever god your messed up family believes in, if Lily fell down that hole you dug, I'm pushing you in after her. Nugget will not give the teacher satisfaction. Teacher will never take Nugget alive! <laughs> wow, that hole is deep! I can't even see the bottom! We're going to have to get the janitor out here with the ladder to get them out. Oh, Mr. Yanni Tor! I'm coming, I'm coming! What seems to be the problem, Miss Jiggletits? It's Applegate, and I have two of my students stuck at the bottom of this hole. You want me to put the rest of them in the hole? No, I want you to get the ones that are in the hole out of the hole. Can you do that? Oh, well, that's less fun, but I guess I can do that. Might take a while, though. Might be best if you brought the ones that aren't in the hole back inside so I don't get confused. <laughs> Very well. Okay, children, we're going to cut recess a little short today. Let's head inside for show and tell. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? Why do I still have this breathalyzer? Uh, the flower, yes. A flower? That's pretty boring. What's there even to tell about that? It's not boring. I gave him that because he's been a good boyfriend all day. Trust me, it's boring. We're just gonna skip you and move on to something, someone more interesting. Okay, who's next? It's not gonna be hard to beat. That so, don't be shy. Right. Well, Trudin, that was fun. That was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. There we go. We did Cindy's mission. Okay. That was so sweet of you to show the flower to everyone. You really are the best boyfriend I've ever had. You keep it forever and always. Joy. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, boyfriend. See you then. Woo! We unlocked the flower! Now, it says tomorrow, but it's actually Monday again. Cool shit. Oh, right, and I have apples here in my room me to gather up to three items and or two items and money Cindy gave it to me for being a good boyfriend I could show it to someone who needs a little love in their life Garfield hates this game <laughs> it's Monday forever okay he did And he doesn't know what vegan means. Uh. Show the flower at show and tell while Bugs isn't there. Right. Theoretically, there are, because because we have temporally acquired this flower and have taken it back in time. We can technically have a we, we're, we can have a we can have a game state. Where Bugs is alive and we have the flower still. It's literally Heather's, except Cindy doesn't kill her boyfriend in the end. Okay, so 
You need to buy three items from Monty before morning time. You have to have cigarettes by the time you go get the laser pointer from the bathroom. And three items. I know we need the yo-yo. Can we even buy three items when if we're gonna get our ass kicked by bugs? I don't know. Or or can we just say to bugs that we don't have money and then he doesn't bother? Because that would be funny. Um, I'm gonna do this. One. I'm gonna do. The, I'm gonna do Miss Applegate's mission because it seems to have less hoops. Like. I have to buy three items here, and I'm not entirely sure what they are off the top of my head, so I'm going to do Miss Applegate's thing. I don't know what the flower will be used for, but for now we can, uh... Am I ready to start another day? Actually, I'm not going to lie. I think I need to get up and do a uh, a uh, a, bi a biological break for just a moment here. So we'll, we'll, I'll be back pretty soon. Hold on.
Oh, right, I have returned. Get back into it. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do Miss Applegate's mission because it seems like there's less uh, hoops to jump through. <sighs> so I have to get bonk. I had to get bonked by bugs and tattle on him. We know how this works. Except this time, we're gonna go get Jerome in trouble. Hmm, now that you've got me thinking, though, Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a trip for him to visit Daddy? Maybe we could. Oh, that's what I'd like to hear. Come see me during morning time and I'll tell you what to do. See you then. You still have time, you might want to get rid of Cindy, too. You could easily get her expelled if she falsely accuses you of something. You've thought a lot about this, haven't you? You bet I have. Talk to Monty. I'm sure he has something that can exonerate you once she lies to get you in trouble. Sounds like a plan, okay? I'm Monty. If you need something, come talk to me. Odds I can get you get some for you for a white price. When I need one, I still change it out the day, so come see me often. I wonder why Monty in the second game is in a wheelchair. I forget. Does he get his legs broken, like, canonically in this game? I don't remember. Voice recorder. It's a pretty cool gadget. It can help you keep out... Of trouble if someone ever accuses you of something you didn't do. Two fifty. It's two fifty. What do you say? I have five dollars, so let's go. Pleasure doing business with you. Anything else? Uh, so if she accuses me of something, I'm not sure what that accusation has to be. Let's go and. Oh, we have no more um, hints. Uh, do I have to try and be her boyfriend again? Is our love enough? No. I'm not, maybe I have to do this. I'm not proving anything to you. Oh no, that just ends it, okay. Why? Why? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl you ever meet? Does that do it for you? You don't seem like any of those things. Excuse me, I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I would have you taken out. How would you do that? A girl has her ways. Now I want an apology or you're going down. I'm not apologizing. Fine, you asked for it. What are you going to do? Ray! Oh, dearie me, what on earth is going on here? I heard someone cry rape. Yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. This boy tried to rape me. Ah, uh, Cindy, we've been over this. Boys are not one. Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend does not count as rape. But as per the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. What? You're punishing me for almost being raped? <laughs> now, listen to me, you little parasite. You're going to the principal's office. End of story. This is so unfair. Cindy definitely has a Twitter account. She's four years old, though, so I don't know if she even knows how to be on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, tell that to the principal. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to... Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to rape me. Great. Well then, Bugs, it looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Okay, you two, let's get this over with. 
So you're accusing your little friend here of trying to rape you? Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I could barely fight them off. I'm going to assume you're going to deny that you raped her. Is that correct? <laughs> What's rape? <laughs> uh, well, it's when a man um does some, you know what? Ask your parents. No, wait. Don't do that. What am I thinking? Just say you didn't do it so I can move on with my life. <laughs> I didn't do it. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do except separate you two for a while. I recorded the incident. You did? Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this or will you make it easier on yourself or just admit nothing happened? But, but he what? Okay, fine. But he started it. He said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorder in case any, there's any trouble when your awful mother calls. So I can't have it back? No. Now why don't you run back to class now? I think you missed enough learning for today. Sure. <laughs> oh, you're back. Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I have proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone? Oh, happy day! I was so sick of hearing all her nonsense! You would've... You would've earned a gold star! Would've? Uh, okay... Is this... Does that mean I failed her mission or not? I don't know. Well, our little rules didn't get rid of bugs, like I'd hoped. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Ah, yes, the high and mighty Jerome, always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that? Oh, no, I need the fucking yo-yo. I think I need the yo-yo. The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. Why don't you just take it? I'm not allowed to search a student without probable cause, and Lord knows there's no probable cause for searching the principal's son. That's why I need him to give it to you. I can do that. Fuck! Okay, so we need to restart the day. Because I need the yo-yo. I need the yo-yo, so we have to try this again. Luckily, once we um once we've done a certain number of things, we can uh just skip dialogue, you know. You know, I'm not oh, I don't know if there's going to be a point later in the day that I need 150, so I'm gonna take a risk and I'm gonna try and buy this. All right. Okay. Oh, wait, that took all my apples. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay. Damn it! That was stupid of me. Got that buying stuff takes the apples. Oh well. Nugget doesn't deserve this. Of course he doesn't. So let's get only the voice recorder and the yo yo. Now we do this. Okay. Okay.
All right. Maybe we could. Wait, I can't do anything with Cindy, can I? Interesting. I can't do the whole rape thing with Cindy now, so I have to do... So, if I'm doing Miss Applegate's mission, I actually have to get rid of Cindy at a later part of the day. Like, I, I can only do... I can only do, get rid of Cindy or get rid of Jerome. Maybe I'll, maybe if I get rid of Jerome, I'm also getting rid of Bugs. Then I have to get rid of Cindy at, a, at an even later date. You still have time? You might want to get rid of Cindy. Okay, yeah, so the, the whole thing of you might want to get rid of Cindy, too, this is a bit of a red herring that stops you from getting the the yo-yo. Hold on, can I talk to her? Wanted to see me about Jerome? Ah, yes, the high and mighty Jerome was talking back to me because Dad is my boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. Steal a hall pass. <laughs> Why? You interested in getting one? Well, too bad. I'm not interested in helping a dweeb like you. Why not? Look, man, unless there's something cool in it for me, you can forget about it. Now get lost. Are yo-yos cool? Hell yeah, they are. Maybe you are cool after all. I'll trade you the yo-yo for the pass. You've got a deal, and since we're going to be friends, I think you should do something to help me. You know, as a friend. Like what? Give me a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Now I have the hall pass. Now I'll talk to the teacher. Give me just a minute. Jerome is distracting me. I got the pass from Jerome. I knew it. Jerome, you little cockroach. We've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. What? You ratted me out to the teacher? Dude! Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Please stop calling me that. No, because that's what you are. Teacher's special little rat. Just like Jerome is teacher's special little suspended hooligan. Oh, come on, bro. I thought you were cool. Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Man, stupid rat getting me in trouble. My dad's going to kill me. Literally. Oh, that was just perfect. You're a natural at this. Let's keep this kid removal train going. Ow. I have a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Oh, you know what I realize now is that because we couldn't do the thing with Cindy, that means we uh, didn't need this voice recorder at all. Which might mean that we... Uh, there was a different item we needed to buy from Monty that we now don't have. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're in there. You'll have to get creative, though. I'll try. Wow, this is convoluted. So... fuck is this? Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. You want to be friends? Oh, Nugget normally spends morning time alone and eats lunch alone and lives life alone. Nugget supposes he could be your friend if... If what? You eat this, Nugget. That's it? Yes, do this for Nugget and we will be friends. Okay. Wait, is this going to poison and kill me? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think so. I think he saves the poison nugget for bugs in his mission later. Okay, eat the nugget. 
Good. Now remember the taste of the nugget. We will dine together at lunch. Nugget, we'll see you then. Okay. Try to rat as many of the other kids as possible. Wait, maybe I can uh, get do the rape thing with Cindy now. Who's your boyfriend? He's gone. He doesn't exist. What? You want to be my morning buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense. So unless you're buying or selling something, get lost. Here's what's for sale. Boyfriend is a ghost. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning, morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. So, can I get Monty in trouble by buying the cigarettes and showing them to him, maybe? What? These never took you for a bad apple. There's only a couple left in the pack. So it's at a discount. You can have them for one dollar. My boyfriend is a ghost sounds like something... In some dumb anime. Yeah, like a, sh like a really shitty anime title, yeah. <laughs> you need the recorder to get rid of Cindy. Maybe you need to get rid of Lily or something. You already got rid of Bugs, so you don't need to work. Right. Well, I mean, the fact that we didn't get rid of... Bu if we did get rid of Bugs, then maybe he Nugget would give us the poison Nugget instead of giving it to Bugs. But you're right, right, right. Uh, 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 do I want the cigarette? I don't know. Oh, no, right. Let's, let's see if we can buy the cigarette and that gets him in trouble. I don't know. Oh, just don't go showing them to anyone. It could get us both in trouble. Okay. But yeah, this is correct. We want to get Monty in trouble right now. We have to buy the cigarette. Understood. Um, how do I show this to you? Do I just eat my apple? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Okay, all right. I guess we I guess we should have eaten the uh I don't know, so like Monty said that if I show the cigarettes to somebody, me and him will get in trouble. But I couldn't show them to Miss Applegate right there. I'm not really sure what to do. Uh we'll talk to Nugget though. Nugget is pleased you have returned. Tell Nugget the nugget you consumed was very, very tasty, yes? Sure, I guess. You couldn't taste the poison? Wait, what? I'll get poisoned the nut. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I'll get poisoned the nugget. I'm gonna die? Perhaps that depends on what you do next. What do you mean? Rage, normally Bugs has thrown slop at Nugget's head by now. I got Bugs expelled this morning. You did? Oh my! Nugget's revenge on Bugs would have been so satisfying, but I guess this does not cause any potential legal trouble for Nugget down the road. So about that antidote. Oh yes, of course! Silly Nugget almost forgot! There you are! Wouldn't want Nugget's new friend to cough up his own stomach now, would we? Take the antidote. Nugget is glad to have you as his friend. Please, come visit Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Great. Okay, I have all these apples left. Uh, who do I show the damn cigarettes to to get Monty in trouble? Sorry, sweetie, this spy is reserved for my boyfriend. Go sit with Ugly Lily over there. Ugly Lily? Heh, <laughs> yeah, Ugly Lily. Hey, why don't you do me a favor? Like what? If I give you this piece of gum, will you put it in her hair? It'll make it worth your while. Bonus points if you do and come back to me before lunch is over. 
I don't... Fine, I don't need you anyway. There's plenty of other stupid boys willing to do this for me. Okay. I figured you'd be seeing me about now. Slop is no good, and I don't think anyone is brave enough to try the biscuit from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. Salad McGlob's silly what? Wow, it comes with a monster mon card about two foot. No. Okay. Please don't sit with me. I don't want to talk to anyone until they find my brother. Does that mean that I can only do Lily's thing? I have a feeling if I say a, this, I'm going to just get hit murdered. So I'm going to do it. You spelled biscuit wrong. What? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't even read. Monty can. Oh, is that dweeb? Is that the dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd. Um, what did you want? Got some janitor stuff you want to sell me? No, but I got a coffin for you to buy. <laughs> Let us be a lesson to you about correcting people's spelling. There, lessons were learned. Lines were drawn. What the fuck? Okay, so we got Monty in trouble. He is now fucking dead. You're a good kid for letting one of the little monsters going around correcting spelling. And in a school of all places. Shame for the way kids turn out these days. Is he dead? What? No, I just hit him till he got all twitchy. He'll be fine in a year or two. Now I remember why Monty is in a wheelchair in the second game. <laughs> That's a long time. Hughes, let the old Janner know if anyone else has anything to say about his spelling. I don't think that will happen again. Oh, these glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit him. You could have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Right. Thanks. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> what? What did you say to him? You should just rest now. <laughs> You give glasses to the slop lady, I think you get something? Okay, let's... How you doing there, Sonny? You want some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? Not hungry. Okay, uh, let's try again. Maybe I'll go through this conversation and... Yeah, I mean, the fucking chocolate is $10. I don't know how the fuck you accomplished that. Uh. Oh. Oh, I'm not allowed to let any kitties out in the hall during lunch. But maybe you could do me some, me a little something if you want me to look the other way. Like what? Well, I said to have misplaced. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, misplaced my glasses. These old eyes can't read the menu without them. See if you can find a pair lying around, and I'll let you out. Found some glasses. Oh, lovely! Thanks so much. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. I won't stop you. Thanks. So now, we watched Lily leave the room. So does this mean that now we can go and get Lily in trouble using the voice recording? I don't have the screwdriver. Go away, kid. I'll get in trouble if the principal hears you. Walk away from Lily. Okay, but what if I... <laughs> uh, let's explore a little bit first. So the hall monitor is in the bathroom right now, smoking. I don't have the key for this. I don't have the screwdriver for this. Yeah, I think we go in here and we get Lily killed. Yeah. Knock on the door. What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're going to get us both in trouble. What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I knocked to let you know. Lily, we've been over this. 
I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step inside my office and we'll talk this over again? I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this young lady. Office, now. Please excuse me for a moment. And then he fucking kills her. <laughs> okay, thank you for letting me know about her. Why don't you finish your lunch? I feel like if I ask about this, he's gonna kill me too, so... I have egg on toast, on toast with the QP. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm not sure what the QP is. Okay. I killed Lily, so it's just kind of like, what do I do now? Hmm. Oh, Mayo. Oh, I remember now. Yes. Do I maybe go, like, uh, wash the blood off myself? Maybe, maybe I do that. You! You're not supposed to be in here! I gotta take you to the principal! That is, unless... Unless what? Well, I'm out of cigarettes. If you had some, I'd be willing to let you off. I do. Hell yeah! Thanks so much, little guy! Go do what you gotta do. Cool, thanks. See you around, little man. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna wash the blood for myself, I guess. Oh, wait, what? Oh, well, that, did, that didn't do anything, then. Okay, so giving the cigarettes away didn't do anything, but whatever. Do I just hit backspace and, uh... How do I eat the apple again? <laughs> I, I, what's the... I muted myself. Whoops. Okay. What the fuck is the... How do I eat the apple again? Yes, 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 yes. Eat apple. Is this even on my keyboard? Oh, it's shit. Oh, it's it, it, it. enter. Okay. We're supposed to get rid of Cindy before Nugget. Okay. I don't know how to get rid of Cindy though. Well done! You got Lily, Monty, and Bugs! That's unprecedented! You've earned three gold stars! Thanks. What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend the little mole creature? Yes. Excellent! You see that hole he's standing by over there? He's been digging it for a few days now. I'm pretty sure he's gone straight through the bottom of the box. Wow. Yes, I would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove how dangerous it is, and the principal doesn't seem to care. What does this have to do with me gaining his trust? Because he won't let anyone in the hole who he doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. He doesn't trust you? Of course not! He may be weird, ugly, and disturbed, but he's only a little stupid. He knows I'm out to get him. So what do I do? I need you to go down into the hole and find something. It doesn't have to be much, just anything we can use to get him in trouble. Like what? I don't know, just... I guess there has to be something down there. Just go down there and find it. Okay. Okay. Good. Come back when it's done. Will do. Because you show the dog's head to teacher from the Nugget Cave, but Cindy kills you if she's... Yeah, I guess we have to find a way to get rid of Cindy right here. Maybe we do the rape thing now, because we have the recorder? Uh, okay, I don't know how to get rid of Cindy, then. If we can't do any of the rape... Th the rape nonsense, then I don't really know how to get rid of Cindy. I think maybe we get rid of Cindy by doing the gum thing in the cafeteria, maybe? Instead of, uh... 
Yeah, we probably should have tried to do the gum mission in the cafeteria. Yeah. But I guess I'm just gonna go get killed by Cindy then. Thank you for coming as Nugget Ask. Nugget normally does not have any friends to show his work to, but he does today. Are you ready to enter the Nugget Cave? Yes. Excellent, but first Nugget must do something. What's that? <laughs> Just... Sp sp <laughs> there, now we are ready. Why did you just drop all those nuggets in the hole? But we do not die upon landing. Nuggets, nuggets are as squishy as they are tasty. Now please enter the Nugget Cave. Enter the Nugget Cave. Welcome to the Nugget Cave. Behold its nuggety goodness. Please have a look around. Uh, okay. Oh, the little doggy. Nugget forgot it was there. Is it dead? Yes, it is, but do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget Cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not ring into the surface. It probably would cause trouble. Take the dog. Are you enjoying your stay in the Nugget Cave? Yeah, but I'm ready to go. Well, what did you find? This dog corpse. Oh my dearie me, is that... Is that... Is that Cindy's dog? What? You were the one who kidnapped my dog? Oh my god, she's dead! Cindy, I think what he is trying to tell me is that Nugget... You shut your fat, ugly mouth! I have to make this right! Cindy, no! You can't just... Actually, you would be one less kid for me to deal with. Good job, Cindy. You've earned a gold star. Okay, uh, we uh, need to restart the entire day. Um, I think what we do is we have to do the weird rape mission thing uh, for Cindy in the cafeteria. That's what my assumption is. That's what my assumption is. So we have to redo everything. All right. So, we need the yo-yo. I'm going to assume we need the voice recorder. Yeah, my assumption is that I need to get the pass from Jerome. Is that I need I need to I need to get rid of Cindy in lunchtime. Um, because my mistake in lunchtime is that I had these apples left. And what happened is that I ended up just doing a few things that I did that did, that amounted to literally nothing. Okay, I have to talk to the teacher first. Okay. 
I can't skip it. There we go. First we do that, then we do this. Now we do this. Okay. My dad's gonna kill me, literally. We, we know that the cigarettes are pointless, so we just get the screwdriver. And we don't need to go to the... We don't need to go out outside or anything. Oh yeah, and these cubbies we can like acquire stuff or whatever. Gotta check them. Uh, let's just let's get the screwdriver instead. Got to suck up the janitor for steel. Weird that he's willing to sell me the tools provided by the school, but I ain't complaining. It'll run you one dollar. Yep. There we go. Enter does do it. So first we need to we so here's the thing Lily will leave the the this room for a while after a point so we we have to do this now Wait wait no you get rid of Cindy in the morning and Bugs comes back to class and then Nugget kills him at lunch yeah, isn't that though? Isn't that for Nugget's mission though? Can't we like get rid of Cindy now by doing this gum shit and then doing the weird like rape thing or whatever the fuck? I don't know. I'll give it. A, I'll, I'll give this a shot before I restart the whole thing though. Ah, okay. Okay, so we have to go put the gum and Lily's hair out there. It's for this mission, you can also do it for Nugget. Well, okay. I'm gonna try and see where this current thing leads. Is it at recess? Then we get the janitor to kill him. Okay. 
You're freaking kidding me right now. You followed me out here to put gum in my hair. In my hair? It appears that way. Just leave me alone. I have more important things to worry about than jerks like you. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. Yep. Does it look like I'd be able to fit down that hole? Ah, uh, no. So would you stop laughing and help me? Okay, it amounts to nothing. All right, you're you're correct. You are correct. It amounts to nothing. So we we don't do. I still need to get a bunch of fucking money in order to get the, the recorder and the yo-yo. So we still have to max out our money and get robbed. All right. But we don't do anything about bugs right now. We, we get rid of we we get rid of Cindy. Um, right. We still need the yo-yo for Jerome. Now you do both, and Bugs comes back. Right. I mean, do I? I don't know. I don't actually. I don't think I have enough apples for to do both of them. Because I need an apple to start the fight with bugs, and then I need like more than one apple to do the rape nonsense with uh, her right here. But I only have two apples right now, so I think I have to get her in trouble here, and then get bugs killed at lunch. I believe that's what I have to do. Um, not talk to the, like, if I talk to the teacher right now, see, I, I would only have one, I'd only have one apple left after that, so. Miss Applegate is a fucking mood. Now listen to me, you little parasite. <laughs> what a fucking mood. Too bad she's also a drug addict. You deny that you rape. Yes, I deny her. I recorded the incident. Me as a teacher! Ugh. God damn it, sound alerts. Why won't sound alerts work? Oh, there we go. None. I had proof. I didn't do it. Oh, that means she's gone. Oh, happy day. I was so sick of hearing her nonsense. 
You've earned a gold star. Thank you. You know, I thought you were going to be a problem for me today after the whole bugs thing, but I guess you're not all bad. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Now run along and enjoy the rest of your morning time. Right. Okay, we have five apples here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's try and be friends with Nugget then. How do we get Jerome in trouble? I guess we befriend Nugget now? Yeah. What are you busy with? You are curious about the ways of Nugget? Interesting. Perhaps you could be of some use. To Nugget. Perhaps. Nugget is in need of a magnifying glass. Do this for Nugget before the next bell rings and you will be rewarded. You have the yo-yo already? Yep. No, 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 no. Like, I I already have the yo-yo do it. It's just that I can't talk to Miss Applegate to then initiate her plan of getting rid of Jerome. And last time we tried to tattle on Jerome without talking to her first, we just failed his mission. And we didn't we didn't get him in trouble. That's what happened last time we tried that. So I'm, now I'm sitting here like, well, Miss Applegate didn't give me a dialogue to get Jerome in trouble. So now I'm wondering how I trigger a dialogue to get him in trouble is what I'm trying to is what I'm getting at. I guess maybe talk to Jerome first, then talk to her. Yeah, yeah, OK, that's probably a good idea. Okay, see, if I if I if I do the yo-yo thing, he immediately is like he'll immediately be like, "Oh yeah, do this plan with me." Right? Like that's that's what will happen if I do that. Um Yeah, say no to his plan. I suppose so. Yeah. You mean this yo-yo? Well, it's mine now. Okay, now that that didn't do it. Like what? What do I do? Why don't you go? Fine, give me the pass. It should be in a box somewhere. Just grab it and go. Don't linger there too long. He can check. Checks. Right, right, right. Okay, see, like, this is what I'm talking about. I don't think I can get him in trouble right now. You see what I'm talking about? Do you see what I mean? I can't get him in trouble by doing this. I can't get... Oh, right. I didn't know... Th I didn't realize this was considered to be the, uh, the start of this room, but okay. I think you need to... I think you need to get rid of bugs temporarily in the morning, too. Okay, but I can't get rid of Cindy if I do that. I don't have enough apples to do that. Like, rem Because I need to both... See, here's the thing. Buying the yo-yo is an apple. Buying the recorder is an apple. Initiating the thing with bugs is another apple. And then doing everything with Cindy is like also expends the apples. So I'm not sure that I can do all of that at once. You know what? We'll go tr we'll go take a look. We'll go take a look. Let's see. Can we get bugs and Cindy in trouble and also get the yo-yo and also get the well to get her in trouble, we need the recorder. Buy the yo-yo at morning time. You know what? I think you're correct. That actually makes the most sense. You're correct. 
Because he sells the same items both out here and in morning class. So I think you're correct. Okay. I believe that is indeed correct. So right now we only need this. So let's tattle on bugs. Now we have two apples left. Okay. Okay. Could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Okay, now we now we have the mission for Jerome. Okay. So let's get Cindy in trouble now. Okay, here we go. No! Yep, and now we have this part. Okay. All right. Yep, 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 yep. All right. We haven't asked this. What's Nugget's life worth to you? Not much, but I make a teacher's salary, so even by my student life valuing system, it's still a pretty significant percentage. Okay. So now we get the yo yo. Okay. We solved it. Solved the puzzle. Got the pass. Please stop calling me a rat. Nope, I am a rat. And now we do nugget, okay. Wait, no, if we did if we eat this nugget, then bugs won't get won't eat the nugget. Unless he has a second poisoned nugget. Uh whatever, we'll try it. Okay. Cool. Hey asshole. Why the hell do you think I would want to be your morning buddy? Good point. Can't do anything about any of these, uh, the, uh, any of the other kids right now. So now I believe we just sell the apple. No, but yeah, but like I, ate, I just ate the poison nugget again. I guess he just has another poison nugget. I suppose. Here's hoping. 
Nugget is pleased you have returned. Tell Nugget the Nugget Yugutsu was very tasty. Yes, sure, I guess. Couldn't taste the poison. Wait, what? I'll get poison the Nugget. I'm gonna die! Perhaps that depends on what you do next. Bugs just threw slop at you. Yes, he does that every day, but today Nugget has poison and you are going to poison Bugs for the Nugget. Why would I do that? Because Nugget also has the antidote that will save your life. How do I poison him? <laughs> Here is another Nugget. It is quite... Okay, all right. That Yeah, yeah. It is quite similar to the one you ate. Only this one is far more potent. Just get Bugs to eat it. Okay, I'll try. Better hurry. Nugget thinks you have until the bell rings before the poison does its work. I hate you. <laughs> We don't actually we don't actually hate him. I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something you gave me? Because otherwise you'll look like a sissy. What? Who around here thinks I'm a sissy because I won't eat a stupid nugget? Cindy. What? Cindy doesn't think I'm a sissy? Well, she won't if you eat this nugget. Yeah, give me the nugget. I'll show her. <laughs> you showed her. Now we'll get Cindy. Now we'll get a. Uh, we'll get a uh, Lily killed. Is it done? Has Bugs been poisoned? It's done. Wonderful. Nugget is quite pleased. <laughs> He's just there, dead. If what you say is true, Bugs should die any moment now. And there he goes. Here's the antidote as promised. Take antidote. Nugget hopes you feel better. Please come see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Great. Now we get Monty killed. Can I talk to his corpse? I would feel bad, but he was kind of a meanie. Walk away from the corpse of bugs. Spelled biscuit wrong. Now we get Monty killed. Okay. And then we get his glasses. Then we go get... Lily killed, and then at long last we get Nugget killed. Then we solved Miss Applegate's mission. Holy shit. I have one... One apple left. And then she, then he, now, now she is dead. <laughs> well done! You got Lily, Monty, and Bugs? That's unprecedented. You earned three gold stars. What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend the little mole creature? Yes. Alright. Thank you for coming as Nugget Ask. Nugget normally does not have friends to show his work to. Alright. Whee! Okay. Is it dead? Our, our, our main character is fucking stupid. Take the dog. Oh my dearie me, is that, is that, is that Cindy's dog? Nugget! What is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? What? No, Nugget would never, well, not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless. Don't lie to me. Nugget is not lying. Nugget knows it was the janitor who killed the little puppy. I know it was you! Oh, and she pushed him in the hole. And... He, wouldn't he survive, though, because of the Nuggets? 
Like, he, we, we cushioned our fall with nuggets so he wouldn't be dead from this. Oh my, that was unfortunate. Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the result. You've earned another gold star. Cool. Well, would you look at that? This playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all your classmates and collected six gold stars. So what now? Now I go home early. Don't I get a reward? Oh, right. Your reward. Here you go. It's a special lunch pass. You can use it at any time you want to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. <laughs> Maybe he fell and broke his neck because he didn't jump. I suppose. Thanks. Well, there's no one left to teach today, so I'm going to take off. What about me? Look, kid. Either I can earn a gold star or... Either I can earn a gold star, or you can start walking home. The choice is yours. I'll walk home then. Good, I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles! Start walking. Game is hilarious. Yeah, it is. It is very funny. It's also a very, very convoluted puzzle game. So, we have the lunch pass now. Cool, cool, cool. Monday again! So, very nice. But, right, this is that hint. Yes, yes. So, now... You need to buy three items from, from Monty before morning time. So now, Jerome's quest is gonna be a lot... more, uh... easy to understand. You need to have cigarettes. Yeah, so the three items I need are gonna be... Uh, the screwdriver, the cigarettes, and the yo-yo. I believe. I don't know what we... I don't remember what we use this pass for. But we will eventually find out. Need to bring the money. Uh, this shit again. Yeah, 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 bugs. Yep. Uh, so we don't really care about getting rid of anybody now. Did we? Hmm. Okay. My damn headphones. Third game is coming out this year, I'm pretty sure. Cool, we'll try to schedule the stream so that we can catch it when it's new. Maybe that'll, uh, maybe that'll, that'll get some, uh, you know, some, uh, some of them views, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. Buy some shit. Yo, yo. I wonder if they'll have five games. Like five kindergarten games, that'd be cool. So, let's get the yo-yo. We need the cigarettes as well. And we don't... We don't need the voice recorder. We're not getting Cindy in trouble. Oh, right. Monday to Friday. That makes sense. I know what you mean now. So, maybe I can just get the voice recorder just to use up my apples. Maybe, then again, maybe I need to buy something later. I don't know. The game, the, the hint said we need three items. I could just give him the yo-yo now, actually, maybe. All the stuff Monty sells is pretty cool, except for voice recorders, because snitching isn't cool. Noted. Not that it matters to you. I always spend my time out here alone. I might put up with you during morning time if you got something cool to show me. Noted. Yeah, okay. Thanks. That makes you one of the few people here that even seems to care. It's hard to trust anyone here. Cindy has been trying to put gum in my hair. Why? I don't know. But if I were you, I'd stay away from her. She's really mean. Thanks for the tip. Right. I'm probably going to sell my apple, but I'm going to talk to everybody.
Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. I don't think we have to do any of Nuggets. I don't think we have to do Nuggets thing. I'm just going to sell the apple and then we're going to go. We're just doing Jerome's quest. So yeah, Jerome's quest. Okay, now we'll actually do Jerome's quest where we go and we uh we use the pass to get the laser pointer. Once you're past him, head to the janitor's closet. I can do that. In a box somewhere. Just go, grab it and go. Don't linger there too long. He can check back frequently. Got it. Ready to go distractor. All right. Go do whatever, man. All right. Janitor's closet. Stolen stuff. Oh, this is free. I didn't know- I forgot the Monstermon card was free. So, the laser pointer... Uh... I don't know how to get to the laser pointer. Um... Wait, can I, um, maybe stand on the bucket? Can I stand on the bucket? Damn it! No, I can't. I used an apple for nothing! What's the note say? I'll take the note, but I can't read it because I'm in kindergarten. <laughs> um, hmm. I assume if I do this, the janitor comes back and kills me. What the? What the hell are you doing in my closet? No one's allowed in the janitor's closet except the goddamn janitor. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry I ain't gonna cut it, kiddo. Sorry I ain't gonna cut it at all. I'm really sorry? Me too, but not really. What are you sorry for? Yeah, and then he kills us. Yeah. How in the fuck? How do I get the laser pointer? Like, I can't stand on anything. Um... Hold on a moment. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. I'm so dumb. I'm so fucking stupid. Okay. I... I'm retarded. Well, he says that I have to go to the janitor's closet, but the hint says that it's in the bathroom. By the time you go get the laser pointer from the bathroom. So it's actually not in the closet, it's in the bathroom. Hey, what's going on there, boy? What's in those bags? The toilet over there needs cleaning. Yeah, I know. Who do you think messed it up in the first place? Well, are you going to go clean it? Not if I don't have to. I get paid by the hour, not by the toilet. Just using the stall. Okay. Okay, now we talk to him. 
All the other ones are taken. Huh, fine, I'll take care of it. Stupid kid, making me clean the stupid toilet with my stupid mop because it's my stupid job. A severed finger, no. Sure. Bloody shoe? None of these are the laser pointer. Do I use the shoe to climb? I don't know. I don't know what I do here, actually. Oh, okay. So I, I, I messed up the sequence. All right. We'll try. We'll do this one more time then. One more time. Hold on, did it take me apple? Hold on a moment. Oh, that didn't take any apples. Cool. Then we go backwards. That was fast. Did you get it? What happened? I couldn't get it. I mean, you didn't even try. Thanks for the... I thought I took... What? Did I just uh, not do the dialogue correctly? Let's, let's take a look. Maybe I just didn't do the dialogue correctly. Hold on. I bet you didn't even look. Well, I'm gonna go look now. Hold on a moment. What's this? Oh! Unscrew the screw. Here we go. Okay! We found it out. A bunch of chuck in here along with Jerome's laser pointer! The fuck out of here. Go back to your class and back to class. Yep. Well, did you get it? What? Okay, kids, we all heard the lunch bell. We'll talk at lunch. Go to lunch. All right. Hey, kid, over here. Well, did you get it? I got it. Dude, that's awesome. I just hope the janitor doesn't notice. He can be pretty territor- Which one of you dead little children went into my closet? Oh, jeez. Sounds like he noticed. You better hurry up and hide the thing before he gets here. Where do I hide it? Um, the garbage can. Quick, throw it in there. Hide laser. Well, anyone want to step forward? No? Well, what a surprise. What about you, little junior principal? I took your lasery thing this morning. I'm sure you want it back. Search me, man. I don't have it. So screw off or I'll tell my dad you peed in the water fountain again. You win this round, kid. What about you? You been in my closet? Turn out your pockets! Hmm, nothing. I still got my eye on you. I'll just leave the poor things alone. You're always looking for a reason to impale a child in that mop of yours. So what if I am? Ain't nothing wrong with impaling a child. Let's go sell your mystery meat. Fine, but mark my words, someone will pay for still going into my closet. Actually, before you get started, that garbage can needs emptying. Go take care of it. Rah, stupid lunch lady making me do my stupid job. Well, that was fast. There's no way you took it all the way to the dumpster. Would you relax when I dropped it off at the bathroom? Ah, okay. Oh, get it after the bell rings. Sheesh, old broad is just mad. My the kids like my food better than hers. 
Well, that didn't go quite as planned. At least you're not dead. That's a relief. What now? I had to ask you this, but you need to go get it. The janitor said it's in the bathroom. What's in it for me? I know I'm asking a lot for you, but just work with me on this. I'll make it worth your while. Fine. I'll go pay off the lunch lady so you can you can get out. Just hurry back. The janitor will be taking that garbage out shortly after the bell rings. Go pay her off then. Okay, she said she'd let you out. Go get it. And there goes Lily. We have the cigarettes! Unless what? Well, I'm out of cigarettes. You had some, I'd be willing to let you off. I do. Hell yeah, thanks so much, little guy. Go do what you gotta do. Cool, thanks. See you around, little man. See ya. Get! Looks like I am digging through this after all. Get the stupid laser pointer. Oh, did the slop give you the run? Sorry about that. Hope it worked itself out. Alright. I think we did it. Hey, kid! Come over here! Jerome briefed me on your little mission. Did you manage to get the laser from the bathroom? Yep. Good. I don't know if you noticed, but the janitor is watching Jerome a little too closely. He looks like he's about to kill him. We gotta do something about it. What do you mean? That old man has been harassing kids for decades. I think it's time we finally got even with him. Doesn't he sell you stuff? Who doesn't? And when it comes down to it, the principal's kid is far more valuable than I am. Oh, far more valuable than an unstable octogenarian willing to sell me tools at a cheap price. That's a word you don't see every day. Octogenarian. Good point. What should I do? I'm going to take the laser's collateral for my services here today. He'll get it back when he pays me. Okay, now what? Jerome gave me this. It's one of his dad's little bugs. Little things tend to pop if they don't like what they hear. Don't worry, I deactivated it. What do I do with it? You just worry about putting it behind the janitor without him seeing you. I'll handle the rest. Come see me when it's done. Okay. Place the device here. Did you place it? Yup. Excellent. This is going to be good. Now, Jerome! Get back here! I ain't done questioning you yet. Boom! Jeez, dude! I told you to distract him, not blow him up! Oncogenarian is a fancy way to say old fuck. It literally means he's in his 80s. That's all it means. But yes, yes. No, it's, it's centenarian is when they're in their 100 years. And then super centenarian is when you're older than 110 years. Eh, he had it coming. The janitor just exploded. Yes, he did. The irony here is that there's no one to clean up the parts. Can we just go inside? Yes, I think that would be for the best. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? If I show off the pass, I just die. Um, I don't know if... I think if we show off the flower... Then Bugs murders us. I'm pretty sure. What the hell is this? I don't know what this is. I don't remember what this is. Yeah, Bugs kills us if we show the flower off. If we show the screwdriver off, that might be like, oh, you have an illicit item from the janitor, so you're in trouble. I don't even remember what this item is. Well, let's just show off a Monster Mon card. A Monster Mon card? Oh, come on. You have to be more creative than that. We're going to skip you. Who's next? Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, this completed Jerome's mission, right? Well, kid, I'm impressed. You put up with this whole crazy day just because I told you it'd be worth it. It better be. It is. Trust me. 
This is shame it required Monty taking the laser pointer until I pay him back. Either way, you've earned this. What is it? It's a mold for a key to my dad's office. You get this made, you can go in there anytime. You couldn't just give me a key? My dad is a pretty is pretty secretive about his office. I'm pretty sure he has the only key to it, so be grateful you even have a chance to make a key for it. How can I get this made? Monty can hook you up. Just bring it to him at the beginning of the day and he'll figure it all out for you. Okay, then. This is where we part ways, man. You're pretty cool. I'll see you around. Bye. We did it. We did it. Three missions in one day. That's uh, pretty good. I'd say. I think we did good. And we got those two Monstermon cards. We don't have to ever worry about those ever again. Did I unmute myself? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh my goodness. I apologize if that was uh, something that could be heard. Monday times three. <laughs> This is the Tornado Fly card. This fly can generate tornadoes by flapping its wings. They're not very big because he's a bug. This is the Sneaky Snake card. It's so sneaky, we're not even sure this is a picture of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Old Freaky, the principal's office I got from Jerome. If I take it to Monty, he should be able to get it made into me. All right, yeah, no. We're just gonna... I am... I'm still muted? Am I still muted? No. My thing says that I'm not still muted. Huh. No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, all right. Uh, That was pretty fucking cool. I, oh, you were responding. should know that by now, I am completely stupid and oblivious and have a goldfish memory. All right. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. Really appreciate you coming here and hanging out with me. We will be back tomorrow to continue the game. Three missions down out of... I don't even remember how many. Uh, I don't think we're going to complete this game tomorrow. It's not literally impossible, but my assumption is that next is that this is going to be a, like at least a two week game. And then um, we might get into the second one immediately. Maybe the only issue is that like the third one's coming out this year and there's like not much of this year left. Like there's some, but not a huge amount. So I don't know how relevant it would be to immediately start the second game when we finish this one, but that might just be what we do for simplicity's sake. Uh, I've been hoping, I hope that it was funny and enjoyable and uh, chill in its own way, that you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours and, you know, yeah, just one away from 100 followers, you know, that'd be really cool. Um, and this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where it will join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. we got playlists going all the way back to 2021. Uh, so I think you'll have a good time with that. And yeah, and, and we didn't go huge, unreasonably massive, completely, utterly stonks out of control overtime, right? Uh, so... This is this is uh, this is pretty comfy. I enjoyed the game, and I'm glad that I'm stupid because it made it so that the game is not too easy, and I'm not going through all of it too quickly. Because I know I know what I know what the plot of the game is. I, I've seen it like four or five times, but uh, I'm glad I'm dumb enough that I'm not remembering how anything works because that makes it funner. Otherwise, I would just be playing a game I've already played, and uh, I don't really I don't really intend to do that unless I get like. A lot more stream time in the future and then play like childhood games and shit but for now we're just trying to do you know short two hour streams three times a week and all that so but anyway thank you all very much for being here i really appreciate your support in every capacity i hope you have a good afternoon evening morning etc i will see you all again tomorrow 
with more kindergarten. Ciao.